Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. My name is Emily Scherer for JSA, and I am joined here today by Benedicta Fasmer Waller. She is from Invest in Norway and Innovation Norway. It's great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we are here in Norway. It's my first time in Norway. So excited to be here. And your organizations have all to do with supporting um, the growing um, different sectors in Norway. Can you tell us a little bit more about Invest in Norway and Innovation Norway? Well, Innovation Norway is a government agency um, that works with business development in Norway. So we work with clusters, we work with the startups, grants, and we also work with inward investments. So I work in the part of Innovation Norway that's called Invest in Norway, and we work to attract um, foreign direct investment. And we do that in order to build strong industries. So we're an integrated part of this great organization, Innovation Norway. And my role in this organization is uh, working with data centers and other new green industries. Absolutely. And data centers are a huge growing industry in Norway. So what makes Norway such a great location for data centers? I think the backbone of our whole uh, data center value proposition is the, the green power. Uh, Norway's electricity is, I think, 98% renewable. It's mostly hydropower, which is the only renewable that you can regulate, and uh, an increasing amount of wind, both onshore and offshore. So there'll be lots of offshore wind production coming up in the next uh, 5, 10, 15 years. Um, so the, the green energy, the green electricity is the backbone of our data center, but we've also been working a lot on connectivity, on um, uh, submarine cables connecting Norway to, to Denmark and the UK and the United States. Um, to increase our resilience. And both of these things are, of course, very important for the data center industry. And a third thing we've been working on is, um, is a reuse of the waste heat from the data centers. Norway doesn't have tons of district heating like some countries. We have quite a bit. So like in Oslo, you can reuse heat and district heating. But in other locations, we need to be a bit more creative. So we see Norwegian data centers reusing heat in, for example, fish farming, which is an important industry in Norway. Uh, and so I think these factors, the power going in, the power going out, and the connectivity are making us uh, an attractive nation and, uh, for data centers. And we've seen like a lot of homegrown colos and wholesale companies growing up the past few years in Norway. So we have today, we have quite a good, uh, strong data center ecosystem, we think, we like to think. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it sounds like you've got all the things people need. You've got the connectivity, heat reuse possibility, also mm. the renewable energy. So thank you for sharing those details with us. Mm. Um, and the conference. So tell us a little bit. Are you enjoying the conference? What's a major trend that you've heard about here um, that you're going to take away or that is just something interesting you've heard about? Um, this is the first day, lunch of the first day, and I've uh, it's it's been good. Um, one of the things uh, they've talked, of, there's been, of course, a lot of talk of sustainability since this is the ESG conference. Of course. And sustainability is lots and lots of different aspects. And I think one aspect that we will be looking into more and which has been discussed today is uh, flexibility in the grid and how we can uh, use data or AI to increase utilization of the grid, but that we can also use data centers that can go maybe on and off grid or help with grid regulation data centers as a part of a larger energy ecosystem. And I think that's very important for Norway and for other countries. When we see data centers becoming larger and larger, 50, 100, 200 megawatts, they can play a very important role in the energy system. And I think we'll have continued uh, increased focus on that. And there's a lot of talk of that today. And I think it's, uh, it's very important for us in Norway. Absolutely. Well, great. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you we appreciate again for having me. Absolutely. And to all of our viewers at home, thanks for joining us and happy networking.